It's not my fault. It's not. Hello, welcome to a Smurfy video, and today we are looking at Lando Carizian. And there is a very nice shot. There he is in his package. There's a logo on the top. Nothing on the side, really. There's a back. Nice picture there. Nice little synthesis there. And he is number 39 in this series. So um, I've got a lot of reviews to catch up on, I guess. Okay, so here is Lando outside of his plastic cage. And I really do actually dig this figure. He is a brilliant figure. I would say the only thing that is really, really bugging me is the cloak. Because it's this kind of plastic, I can take it off, it's kind of plastic looking thing. And it, sorry. And it kind of encloses around him. It's not really, you know, it restricts his arms completely. But it is a beautiful cloak. Um, however, I remember, if, if I'm remembering it quite rightly, towards the end of the film, he was just running without it. But I could be completely wrong, of course. Okay, in terms of accessories, he comes with this really nice gun, which is pretty cool. Nice little detail there. Now, I'm sure if you're good at painting, you, you know, you can make it look even better. Just filling in some of these gaps. And he comes with the little communicator, which he runs around. He talks to his man with the, the communicator in his ears. It really is a nice piece, but it is absolutely tiny and something you could easily lose. Uh, once he's out of his cloak, he does look absolutely fabulous. You know, this is the my favorite Lando. I loved him in episode five, that whole he kind of betrays the rebellion because he was trying to protect his people at the end of the day. So he made a deal with the devil. What else was he meant to do? And when he realized that it was going to end in disaster, he decided to pull the plug on that deal and join the rebellion. I do honestly hope he took his people to safety with him. Uh, but that is a really, really nice head sculpt. I really do love that. He's got some really cool 80s hair going on. And he's a fantastic actor. So in terms of the cloak, other than the fact that it restricts his arm, it is a really nice little cloak to be fair. You know, it's kind of cool. do like it. It's got some nice little detail in there. But other than that, that's pretty much all and it is. This is going to sort of be probably the kind of best you can get out of it is trying to push it to its extremes. Um, I just wanted to point out that he has, he has this little wrist communicator on this hand. And he holds his gun really nicely. And he holds his little microphone really nicely as well. The only thing I would be worried about is it is really small. And it's probably not an accessory you're really going to use on display very often. So, I, you know, be careful, obviously. Um, other than that, it's a nice little accessory. So this figure, I'm really pleased with this figure. Um, the cloak, I'll make it work. I wish it was cloth so it could flow a bit easier, but hey ho, we don't always get what we want. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like my page on Facebook, Smurd P, and embrace the geekiness. Goodbye.